I say my body count was like three three thousand and a hundred, but I was really I, I didn't feel too bad about it because my ex chick down in the body had like two thousand or whatever. But so it was like when when I was dealing with my chick, she couldn't really be like, oh, your body counts too much because her body count like two thousand. That doesn't make you look any better. You're both equally sick in the head. Now no one knows for sure if he has three thousand plus bodies, but he is one of those OF, what do they call themselves, content creators, and this is one of his body. I'm just gonna say, yes, he gave it to me. It's devastating to have to come on here and share that whenever I was 19 years old, Gucci third leg burned me with HSV2. And he told me that he was gonna send me his test results and he never did. And it saddens me to hear that he's done this to so many girls. And there's girls with so many similar stories to me and they're so young as well. He is preying on the young, he is preying on the new. And I'm so sorry for not saying this seven months ago. I was scared and I was making so much money. I just, <laughs> I can't keep beating around the bush because you guys think I'm lying. And he can't ruin anybody else's life. I didn't know. I didn't know what he was known for. I didn't know who he was. I didn't do my research. And it is my fault. Yeah, it kind of is. The money was good, so you've done it for the money. This lady here is also a noive content creator, and even though she got sick, she's still a noive content creator. Just between these two alone, they must have spread all that love to thousands of people. Do you sleep with other men who are not your husband? Right now, yes. <laughs> what? Is it for that you sleep yes. with them? You've been married for, wait. Five months. So it's not monogamous. It is. But you with other men. I don't around. I'm not like allowed to and he isn't either but he oh. respects that my job is to be an content creator to be like to create content and this kind of stuff and he accepts me sleeping oh, in front no. of a camera with professional content creators excuse me so he's a cock doesn't that imply that he would be watching too? Not necessarily. He lets so, you sleep with other men. In front of a camera or video Cut. that I can Wait. sell and we get money <laughs> from it. There's no trace of testosterone left in that man's body. And sure your girl is maybe making a lot of money and you enjoy spending some of those money, but you did just sold your soul as soon as you accepted it. And you really didn't need to marry the girl. Not to mention that is not a marriage that is gonna last throughout the years. At some point you're either gonna get bothered by what she does for a living, or maybe she's gonna get bothered by you spending her money, or she's simply just gonna get bored with you, and you can bet everything she's gonna destroy you in the divorce. So I'm having a conversation with one of my guy friends and him and his girl just broke up. It's like, we're kind of kidding around. It's like, do I go over there? Do I talk to her? Do I DM her? And me being the toxic friend I am, I'm like, no, go boombox her window. Go make a sporting event sign. Do you still like me? Circle yes or no outside her window. But then I'm thinking like two thoughts about this. One, has this ever happened in the real world? Like where a guy showed up outside your window trying to serenade you ever besides in a movie hasn't happened to me two like what kind of animal do you have to be to like show up at a girl's window like no fear of rejection with a boom box like what if i was like yeah pass like imagine i like put the blinds down like you gotta be crushed you're never dating again when he has you for a friend for some reason, so if he does all that, if he listens to you, then that's on him and maybe he should not be dating again. Why do men get down on one knee to propose? Why? Because he's talking to a kitty cat. He ain't talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> and she just stares at him. Hey, Zeus. I see so many girlies post the most whack dating advice online like they'll be like if he doesn't uber you to the first date pay for the first date and pay for everything that you buy for the remaining three days then don't see him again if he uses an emoji once don't see him again scroll through the instagram if he wears cargo shorts in one photo don't see him again if he's lactose intolerant girl don't see him again and i just can't help but watch these videos and think are you sure that you even like men like, if your expectations for them are that high, and none of them are really based in his personality, maybe you're just coming up with excuses as to why you can't find one. Yes, and later on, there'll be the same ladies complaining they can't find a man. I fully agree. Men's mental health does matter. That said, why aren't they making 
making it matter, right? Why is it a woman's job to make it matter? While well, they're spending all of their time criticizing us and judging us for the communities and the spaces that we because these types of men will do literally anything other than go to therapy and actually address their issues and better themselves. We can see what years of therapy has done to you. We don't need that in our lives. Also, we don't need therapy to better ourselves. And last, we don't expect you to fix anything. This is not okay. If you've ever had a therapist, I don't, I don't care what their gender was, roll their eyes at you, laugh at you, put you down, make you feel bad for whatever you are feeling, do not go back and see that therapist. You deserve so much better than that. And I am so sorry that happened. I'm not going to make excuses for them. I'm going to ask you not to write off the entire field. There are bad apples in every bunch. There are. I wish there wasn't a single bad apple in my field because the harm that that can cause, the secondary and cumulative and exponential harm that can cause when we're going in vulnerably looking for help and then feel like we need more help as a result of it, it's not okay. So on behalf of the profession, I'm sorry. Uh, please don't search Ivy Harper. The thing is, when you search Ivy Harper, you get some um, special videos that really, they're not meant for a kid's app. They're not. So just don't do it, please. What she meant to say is if you look for her, you're going to find videos that are free. She doesn't need you to find free videos because then she's not making any money. I want to look more tattooed, but I don't know what to do. Like, I feel like I look so tattooed like this when I'm in this pose, but then without, I'm like, oh, I have no tattoos, none at all. None at all. Oh my god, love it, love it, okay. None. And this arm's got them, but uh, I don't know. Men are gonna freaking hate me because I keep getting DMs from girls being like, you've inspired me. I'm breaking up with my man today. <laughs> I, I mean, like, go girl. If he's treating you poorly, like, be on your way as you should and i'm glad that i could help you realize that you deserve better but like the amount of people they're like i'm not gonna lie like i've been in a four-year relationship and like you left and you're done so i'm gonna be done men this is not my fault mm -mm -mm -mm. I, this is your fault you should treat her better you are kind of right it's not really your fault i don't even know what you're talking about or what kind of advice you gave to women but i do know that those men are not gonna hate their girlfriends broke up with them because of a TikTok or you or whatever you've said then you in fact have done those men a huge favor i was trying to get out of the situation with a real cop oh, oh yeah i was oh. i got arrested and i was trying to blow him but <laughs> oh <laughs> what were you arrested for i was drunk and okay. I was disturbing the peace. <laughs> okay. At 2 a.m. What were you doing to disturb the peace? Because we were at the club. And yeah. then we, like, when the club closes, I can't find my friends. So I was just, like, <laughs> oh, no. calling out their names. Yeah. Friends! friends. Yeah. <laughs> and then the cop just come and handcuff me. What did you say? I say, please, I'm a good girl. I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> were oh. you on your knees? Did it work? He's <laughs> like, no, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>